as you may know, I just returned, Anne and I returned from a tour of some parts of Europe, along with over 100 of our friends of the ministry, that culminated this past Friday in Oberammergau, Germany, uh, with the amazing historic passion play that has gone on there since 1634, if you can believe that. Uh, at, at that time is when the bubonic plague was going through Europe and, and that town of Oberammergau had already lost about 80 people. But they made a vow to God that we will perform this play every 10 years if you spare our town. And no more people got uh, killed through this bubonic plague. And there you see some of the historical pictures through the years of where they've done this passion play, uh, the last week of Jesus' life uh, ever since. And so we were there and it was tremendous to just be part of the history of that play and just see the, the powerful, wonderful performance as well uh, from the townspeople uh, right there. And so I, I took my home video camera, so you'll have to excuse the uh, amateur video you're about to see. But uh, here we are just arriving into town, this Bavarian uh, village in the, in the Alps. And as you, you look around the quaint little village that's gained this international recognition, after 375 year tradition of the, the faithful productions, uh, there you see the parish church of Saints Peter and Paul there in the middle of the town. And the closest landmark mountain is shown here, named Kaufel Mountain, which appropriately has a cross up there at its peak. And here's a look at a portion of the downtown area visited by tourists from around the world. You can certainly hear many different languages. And this is the theater where the Passion Play is performed three to four times every week from May through to October. And it's packed every performance. And um, now we're inside the theater. And the unique aspect of this building is that the stage portion is actually outside while the audience has a roof over their heads and seats about uh, 4,300 people. And so uh, the large uh, choir and orchestra perform the powerful music from a 200-year-old score. And there are some 2,000 performers, musicians, and stage technicians, all residents of the village. And they either have been um, born in the village of Oberammergau, or they've lived there for at least 20 years to take part in, in the play. And so the whole town is, in, is involved. And the men even start growing their beards a year before uh, to get ready for playing their parts. So it was just tremendous to be a part of that experience, and I would recommend it to, to anyone. And so it was a, a blessed time of, uh, of good weather that we had also. Now the whole play is in German, and so we try to follow along, but they help you out with some uh, books. All the different languages have their own little uh, guidebooks here that can help you with uh, the translation of what's happening on stage. But you pretty much know the story. But anyway, just a tremendous experience for Anne and me and the whole gang that we brought with us. And many of you are probably watching right now. It was good getting to know you on that trip. 